I had Restylane Silk done three days ago, and now I have a hard lump under my eye. Is this normal? It was to get rid of wrinkles directly under eyelids. I have a hard lump under the eye, and it's forming an eye bag. Is this normal? Can I use hot compresses? Will it go away? Thank you for your question. You submitted your question with one photo, and you state in your question that you had restal and silk placed under your eyes to treat wrinkles, and you state that now there's a hard lump, uh, and this is again three days after, and you want to know if, if this is normal. Well, I can certainly share with you how I counsel my patients after getting filler in the same area. Um, or, as well as other areas um, in order to understand what the process is. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. Helping people with their under eye area is a very significant part of my practice, uh, both using injectables as well as surgery to help people with under eye bags. And so it, when it comes to this particular area, it is important to understand what the process is when you use a hyaluronic acid filler, and particularly something that's on the thinner side, like a Restylane Silk. So to begin with, it is important that you maintain communication with your doctor. And I can tell you that in my practice, after doing any injectable filler or, or even Botox, I routinely see my patients after two weeks. I think it's very important that although it is not that common for my patients to have significant bruising, uh, this is based on different techniques, but I would say that the time frame that it takes for a filler to integrate and soften and essentially stabilize is, a, is reasonable at about two weeks. So I noticed that in your right eye there was a, it appears to be a slight bruise. Now it's difficult to say whether that bruise is contributing any significant amount to that feeling of hardness. You know when people describe something as being a hard lump it could simply be a reflection of the viscosity and thickness of this material which is now a foreign material that is now in your body that is may feel like it's very hard um, as opposed to something that's more of a hard rock like feeling. Typically a filler will feel firm but it will not feel like it's, like it's that strong like solid. And so, generally speaking, just talking, moving, and uh, with the advice of your doctor, you can consider uh, massaging as well as a warm compress. Uh, this is, again, the best, the most important thing is to ask your doctor, because your doctor recalls how the procedure was done and what, what they expect routinely from this type of process. For example, in our practice, we routinely do fillers for the under eye area. And when I do fillers under the eyes, I use a technique using blunt cannulas. When I use blunt cannulas, I generally find that I can minimize the amount of bruising as well as minimize the relative trauma to the skin because of the strategic placement of entry points. This way, if I get a call or my patient um, sends a photo that my staff asks me to review, I know the circumstance in which that procedure was done, so I can then advise them accordingly. Uh, we, we do a procedure called structural volumizing. Again, it's a, it's a technique of placing material using blunt cannulas through, uh, under the muscle between the muscle and the bone. Again, this is also something that I'm very familiar with and it is something that I would know how to uh, counsel my patients if they have any concerns in the first 48 hours or 72 hours. And of course, I, I also leave the door wide open. I always tell my patients, even though you're scheduled to come in at two weeks, you should come in 
just for any question or concern where an examination probably will be more productive. You know, when patients send you photos, photos can be somewhat um, challenging to interpret because they're two-dimensional representations of a three-dimensional life. And when you also describe something on the phone or, or even using uh, video conference type of um, methods, it, once you're actually in, in the presence of the doctor, the doctor can actually examine you and say, okay, well, this feels right, it looks right. It might help um, manage any concerns you have about what is actually going on. Especially if this is maybe if this is the first time you've had a filler done or a filler done in this area, it might be just best to, for peace of mind to just see your doctor in person. Um, so I, I think that, that that's worth worth considering as you as you get as you learn about how to, what to expect having the procedure done in this way by your doctor. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.